So what is created the trouble in this practice process? Well, one of the things is that we try to, to cover so many things. A great advice is to just pick one thing, even if you, if you practice five minutes, just five minutes practice. And you decide, this I will practice five minutes. Everybody, come on, has five minutes to practice. You practice five minutes and see one subject only, say, you will play scales or even scales or rasgueros or anything, but just one thing. The less is the amount of materials you, you are covering in your practice, the more is your chance to get deeper into it. And therefore, you get some satisfaction out of, the, of, of that. Of course, if you are busy with, in the schools, you can see this very clearly. As I said before, you know, I teach in the Conservatory, the Royal Conservatory of Canada, for some years before, before I came to my town, Malaga, and, and I was there in Canada teaching there, and I can see very clearly how people want to do this, want to do solfeo, want to do that, want to read music, want to do this, stuff, want to do technique, want to think, want to do so many things that they, they get just overwhelmed by the amount of things, and then they end the top not practicing or hating it and doing just forcibly. This is not the goal of what we are uh, searching for, guys. This is not the goal. The goal is that we enjoy playing. And how we will enjoy playing if our practice is a torture? Just answer me that. So therefore, cover less materials, do one thing at a time. Some very advanced people, there are different ways to practice, and some very advanced people can do different things, three or four things, in one practice session. I also did many experiments with my stones. I have 90 now, but I, I taught hundreds of people in the last 10 years, for sure, many hundreds. And I have seen that, what happens. I did many experiments, also making them practice two or three things a day, or two things in one day. And I see the results, and also I see the results, what happens when someone focuses on one topic. So, if I have 10 minutes to practice, I just practice that. First of all, we have to take the weight, psychological weight we have imposed on this practice and thing. Take away that. It's just useless. It will not help. Believe me. Just don't bother. Just do it. <laughs> this is what it is. The most amazing thing about all this will be that the, the advice, final advice, boils down to just do it. But here we are analyzing why we don't do. Which is, this is some people keep secret about it. Some guys are very sincere and come and say, you know what, I have not practiced this week because my dog ate my partitures or anything they will say. Or sometimes it's true that they can practice because of some reasons. But I don't say everyone is lying. I, I said I, I have heard every excuse. And, uh, but most of the time you will see that when you like something, it doesn't matter which obstacle is there in front. That's why one time ago there was this advertisement by Victoria's Secret. It was so beautiful girl in the in a panoramic thing, a big, big ad in the street. And then, and then it said there, the bad thing is that I live very far. <laughs> but, so that everyone will, will think, well, it doesn't matter, I go to your place anyway, you know, because this is the, the, the reason is, why I'm, why I'm saying that is that when you really want something, you get it. And if you want to practice five minutes a day, why you don't practice five minutes a day? If in the last week you analyze yourself and see, I have not practiced five minutes a day, then there is, then you, this series of advices are for you. Of course, I have to, to, to clear and that these series are not, I may better do the disclaimer right away in this fourth video of this series, that these videos are not for people who are healthy practicing. This is only for those who have trouble. So if you are okay with your practice and you enjoy your practice, you find even inspiring in this thing and you enjoy it, then these videos are not for you. So click away from that and just watch another thing because these are just to help those who are stuck or who got the stock at some point. Me ayudó porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería 
debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando, de qué armonía está en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.